Hey guys, how you doing? This is Game Birds, Game Bird Farm 100. This is gonna be the first video for this channel, guys. Uh, basically, this channel is gonna be all about the uh, game birds that we raise and what we do with them and why we do it. Anyway, guys, let's get to it. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys what kind of birds we have right now, what our plans are. I'm gonna show you inside our pens, stuff like that. Alrighty. start out with this is our brooder house basically we have two incubators in there and I'll show them to you now sorry we have an incubator and then we have a hatcher uh, this spring we hatched out 192 pheasants which was a very big hatch this year we put in 240 eggs and 192 of them hatched anyway guys this right here is the incubator okay there you go you can see her in there And then this here is the hatcher. Um, from the hatcher, then we put them in either one of these two um, s smaller pens. Basically, they're inside pens for when they're smaller. And then as they get bigger, we have doors to open them up into a very small pen. You know, it's pretty good. Take you around, I'll show you inside the first pen, show you what we got. Uh, we went to a, a friend of my dad's buddies this spring to get a couple hen turkeys for next year's breeding season. Uh, we ended up getting three uh, hen turkeys because we had a tom turkey before that. Plus he gave us five bob whites. We did lose one. I'll show you what a bob white is. Here's a little guy right there. There's one of them. see lots of wheat here growing from our feeds from when we had the younger birds in here there's another one there there's a male right there he has more white on his uh, head compared to the female we give these birds fresh water every day the bob whites are getting uh, fed uh, wheat along with some uh, pellet grain in here we actually have a bob white that decided to nest by herself. She laid about eight, eight eggs and started to nest. So that's good, but normally birds don't lay eggs in, uh, sorry, normally birds won't hatch out their own brood when they're in captivity, but this one decided to do so. So that's great. She'll, uh, you know, if even if three of them survive, that's great for us because next spring we're going to have a hatch of uh, these guys. Bob Waits. You can see the other three of them are down here in the corner now. By the way, these are fully grown birds. These little guys. Not much meat to them, but hey, they're a game bird. We plan on releasing them into the area. There's lots of fields and whatnot around here. Woodland and grassland and whatnot. They'll thrive. In here we got our turkeys and pheasants. Right there, there's one of the hen turkeys. Another one, there's the three hen turkeys right there. Uh, we have a mix between uh, ringneck and blue pheasants. There, right there is a blue pheasant. There's a blue pheasant there, and there be a male ringneck. These guys are fairly young, you know. This is their first summer. Um, we'll see how they do. We've had problems with some predators, uh, with weasels and stuff like that, but hey, we're getting there. This pen was planted full of uh, sunflowers, corn, and basically some mixed wheat and stuff. We planted a bunch of bird seed in here and it all grew up. It was all like, you know, this high and just dense. There's the male turkey there. Right now we have about 150 pheasants left. We had some die off from basically, you know, you don't get a full uh, mortality rate. These are our feeders for our fuller sized birds. Grain goes in there, it's shingled and everything, feeds, st stays nice and dry in storms. Water containers, like I said, change water daily. Pheasants tend to stay down here in this pen more so. Here's a blue hen. Hen 
man ring neck pheasant right there. A male blue right there. So basically that's what's going on guys. Uh, next year we will have a lot more turkeys in store for you. These three hens right here are going to do quite a nice job at laying us some eggs next spring. Throw them in the incubator and hatcher and see what the heck happens. Okay guys, so like I said, we're going to be hatching um, ring neck pheasants, some blues, some turkeys, and some bob whites next year hopefully. So it's going to be a very, very busy year next year compared to this year. We only hatched out pheasants, but we had pheasants last year as well. We only had about 60 total though. So we'll see what happens, guys. Anyway, see you guys later. This is uh, 